Occasions drew me early to this city, and as the gates I entered with sunrise, the morning trumpet's festival proclaimed through each high street. Little had I dispatched when all abroad was rumored that this day Samson should be brought forth to show the people proof of his mighty strength in feats and games. I sorrowed at his captive state, but minded not to be absent at that spectacle. The building was a spacious theater, half round on two main pillars vaulted high, with seats where all the lords and each degree of sort might sit in order to behold. The other side was open, where the throng on banks and scaffolds under sky might stand. I among these aloof obscurely stood, the feast and noon grew high, and sacrifice had filled their hearts with mirth, high cheer, and wine, when to their sports they turned. Immediately was Samson as a public servant brought, in their state livery clad. Before him pipes and timbrels, on each side went armed guards, both horse and foot before him and behind, archers and slingers, cataphracts and spears. At sight of him the people with a shout rifted the air, clamoring their god with praise who had made their dreadful enemy their thrall. He, patient but undaunted where they led him, came to the place, and what was set before him which without help of eye might be assayed to heave, pull, draw, or break, he still performed all with incredible, stupendous force, none daring to appear antagonist. At length, for intermission's sake, they led him between the pillars, he his guide requested, for so from such as nearer stood we heard, as overtired, to let him lean a while with both his arms on those two massy pillars that to the arched roof gave main support. He, unsuspicious, led him, which when Samson felt in his arms, with head a while inclined, and eyes fast fixed, he stood, as one who prayed, or some great matter in his mind revolved. At last, with head erect, thus cried aloud, Hitherto, lords, what your commands imposed I have performed, as reason was, obeying, not without wonder or delight beheld. Now of my own accord such other trial I mean to show you of my strength, yet greater, as with amaze shall strike all who behold. This uttered, straining all his nerves, he bowed, as with the force of winds and waters pent, when mountains tremble, those two massy pillars with horrible convulsion to and fro, he tugged, he shook, till down they came and drew the whole roof after them, with burst of thunder upon the heads of all who sat beneath. Lords, ladies, captains, counsellors, or priests, their choice nobility in flower, not only of this, but each Philistian city round, met from all parts to solemnize this feast. Samson, with these in mixed, inevitably pulled down the same destruction on himself. The vulgar only scaped who stood without, 